Hi, so welcome back guys uh, to my Docker tutorial series. So basically, I'm sorry I've been a bit of away from my YouTube channel because of some exams and stuff about the job that I do. So I've been a little bit busy, but I think now I have the time because it's summer and I have some time to make some good quality content. So today I have something really special in the bank for you and I'm pretty sure there are a lot of people who want to use that. And if you remember in our last video, we worked on Nginx, just, we just didn't do something special, we just had a small, uh, very basic index.html and we used it to host it into uh, Nginx server, which is basically running in a Docker container, you know, that's what we did. So just as a reminder, we can come back and uh, we can see our Docker file. This was our application, by the way. The back end, the front end, the Docker Compose, and each folder has their own Docker file, if you remember. Then we come back to the Docker file for our front end. And by the way, I should zoom this up because we had this uh, suggestion coming back from our great viewers of the tutorial series that we should have a bit of zoom video, which is pretty fair. It was a little bit of me to not do that in the first place. So, <clears throat> so what we were doing in our previous work was just uh, there's a node alpine file and we are just copying a simple index.html into uh, our Docker container. So I'm not gonna try and run that up right now. I think it's not that important for now. So let's go ahead and uh, work with the React. So for React, uh, we basically are going to have a very small, normal, basic, basic created application, you know? You can say, you can just say, um, and by the way, I should also increase the text size on it. So I have this uh, Create React app installed in here. So first of all, to just host our React app in an Nginx, in a Dockerized Nginx, you need to have a normal React app as well, right? You probably have your existing map, you want to move it to a Docker container, you want your front end to be there. So this is the right place for you. So you can, either create a new app or you already have an app, you know? So if you want to create a new app, then you're going to say, just create React app and my app. And as soon as you hit enter, it's going to hit it up for you. And I basically have another React app already. I just created it. It's also a very basic one, nothing special about it. So I created it and I can try to run it here. Um, yeah, as soon as I do npm start, it's gonna take some time to, f oh, crap, that's bad. Oh, sorry, because I didn't really move on to the hierarchy of that, so I'm gonna say npm start. Oh, this should do some work and it will basically start an application in our browser. So, uh, considering all that stuff, let's start writing our Docker file. So I'm gonna remove all that stuff here because we are going to run a proper React app in here instead of a normal HTML app and nor HTML because no one really uses it anymore. So uh, we're gonna go ahead and start with a Docker file. So for my Nginx, I basically test it out on some specific versions. So this time in the video, I'm not just gonna take anything what's coming up. I'm going to say, I'm gonna talk about a lot of specific versions. So you say node, and I'm going to use 12.2.0 uh, dash alpine, and it's going to be, of course, oh, our app is up, redirect me. So I'll wait, uh, <clears throat> build, of course, you guys already know what this means, what this from statement means. Then, of course, I'm going to set my working directory to app. Now, this could be anything you could say here, um, let's say you could also say uh, uh, slash user slash app or whatever you like, you know, you if you know Linux, you know what I mean by this stuff. So uh, I'm gonna set it to a simple app right now and then I'm going to copy uh, whatever is in my current, you know, whatever is in my current uh, folder right now, which is basically going to be a React app. So I think we should just divide that into some uh, stuff here. Like uh, I'm gonna say, I'm gonna copy the React app to the container. I'm going to prepare the container for 
um, for building for building React, then I'm gonna prepare Nginx, fire up Nginx. Should be a good thing to do. So if we head back to our browser, yeah, that's it. So as you guys can see, there's localhost 3000, and uh, it has your, uh, basically, the application is actually running here. So I'm just going to take the code for it. That's all what it is for. And I'm going to put it back to where we are working right now. We are, oh, I have a React tab here. Did I press? Yes. I shouldn't have, I think. So I will, OK. Let's just leave it as settings from the previous folders and stuff. So I'm gonna say let's just paste that and until it pastes, we are gonna keep working on our Docker file. So yeah, then uh, since we just had our working directory, then of course let's copy the current because it's gonna be here, you know. Then we're gonna copy the current the contents of the current folder and that's gonna go to app slash course but we select it as our directory. Then we are going to uh, do something really important. So we're gonna build our container for basically the React app, right? So we're gonna say run npm install silent. This just means that it's not gonna log anything on the log there. I don't like so much stuff written on my screen. So run npm install react scripts. So if you guys know about React, you probably know about React scripts in this tutorial is not really about the React, so it's about just hosting it onto an Nginx server. So yeah. Then uh, once we are done with that, so now we really have to prepare the container for the building the React app, right? These two statements are going to do that for us. But for when you're going to the Nginx, of course, we are not going to put our local development version into a Docker container. I don't think so. That's a very good idea. Uh, if you are developing a normal application, because when you put it into an Nginx server, and if you remember, whenever you change some code into your React app, it's going to re-render the whole application back, and you're going to see the changes by automatic kind of refresh in the browser. But when you put them in the Nginx, you're not going to get that, because it's not hosted on the React's built-in server. Now it's the Nginx that's hosting your React apps, right? So... Uh, first of all, so I'm gonna run the build basically, and I just told you why because I want a production build in my uh, React uh, or Nginx basically. So then I think that's pretty much done for the React part. I hope you understand all this concept. If you don't, then please go back and see some videos. Now, the next step for us is to prepare our Nginx, you know, and uh, we're going to prepare our Nginx server. So we can first say um, from Nginx 1.16.0. I just tested it before starting the video on this version. That's why I think I pressed it a little bit more. So we are going to copy from build. And then we are going to say app slash build slash user slash share slash nginx slash html. Now what it's going to do? Now this copy is like from the build. It's going to take that name. And then it's going to say, okay, from here, let's put that uh, static React app into this part. You know, this directory is of what's inside here, you know. We have our, uh, sorry, not what's inside, sorry, what's inside coming from here. You know, we are having an Nginx server in our Docker container. And if you head onto this directory into a Docker container, then it's going to head to users here, Nginx slash HTML. This is basically the Nginx directory where you place the static files. And you guys probably know it from the previous video. So uh, next up, we are going to, um, of course, we're going to do configs here, right? So uh, we're going to have to have some custom configs in our folder, and we will just do that. So first, to have custom config, let's just delete what's already existing in the Nginx. Uh, Nginx dot conf, I think that's usually the file name. Then I'm going to say... Um, Nginx.conf. 
default config. Okay. So in fact, I can just copy that from my previous code. It's a bit hassle to write it up here. Okay. So I'm going to delete this file. This is basically the default config. And I'm going to copy uh, nginx slash nginx.conf choose slash edc slash nginx slash conf.d. Right? That's really good. So what we are doing, we are assuming we have a folder here, nginx slash nginx.conf. In this folder, which we will create ourselves, we will have our custom nginx.config file. And then we would copy that to the containers nginx to change the service configurations, right? Because in the future, we want to do some reverse proxy stuff and that kind of stuff. So that's going to be pretty handy for that to have a custom config in there right now. So after that's done, now we're going to fire up nginx, which is uh, possibly the last, one of the last steps of our tutorial today. So we're going to say expose 80, you know, you know what it means. Then we are going to say, uh, we also have three options here. We can either use entry point, we can use run command as well. But I usually like to use the CMD. There are some very minor differences between them. You can just Google about it, or maybe I make another separate video about it. But right now, let's just use what we've been using so far. Nginx and in the parameters that I want to give command. The flag basically is going to be minus C, and of course the normal daemon off for Nginx in the container. And this is basically going to do, it's going to uh, read through what's ever in the configs and what's ever in the static file and this command is going to say okay fire up nginx and host everything up so just for a bit better looking at i'm gonna give you one view of the code oops not here there you go okay so everything is in place i hope so so uh the next step we're gonna do we should have uh as we said we would have uh, nginx.conf, but we didn't create it yet. So let's just go ahead and create that. We can create a folder called nginx, then we can call it nginx.conf. And in that folder, uh, we are gonna basically save the configuration. So on my uh, browser, I think I already have uh, another configuration saved on my Git, but it is not public yet. But I will soon make it public as soon as the, there's some presentable stuff going on with our um, screen here, with our app, basically. So we can go ahead and I'm going to copy the files. The most famous things we programmers love to do. Just copy the stuff around. And this basic... Uh, very, very basic file. So I'm going to remove this as well. This is not needed right now. This, was the, this is just to handle the course reason problem, which I, which we will face probably, and we will fix that as well. So in the server, uh, we say, okay, listen on the port 80. Remember, we had our port 80 exposed from here. Then we have location slash, you know, the normal Nginx stuff. This is pretty normal. You can just read about it or go and say, make a video just fully about Nginx, but this is about you should know basics of Nginx and you should know basics of React. So we are here to find that all up into a Docker and provide a cloud solution for an app. So yeah, that's pretty much it. And also, by the way, our uh, front end React app is fully copied. So we can go ahead and refresh this. And I hope when I fire this up, and yeah, one more thing I should do here, I should create a Docker uh, ignore, right? because uh, I don't want the not modules to be uh, going in there. So I'm going to say docker ignore, say not modules into this. And it's always, always whenever you uh, copy your uh, app in this tab here to the app folder, we don't really need the not modules because we are going to read okay, so, from the package.js uh, file. Uh, run the app file. here. I have to stop the video. So right now, I'm just going to go ahead and book. So then we can say, um, docker build my app dot. Okay. Oh, it's, it's started to build.
but I'm sure since I'm building a production build, so it's going to take a little bit of time. So we can uh, wait until that time and I'll pause the video and we can come back to the context once it's done. So yep, uh, we are back and as you can see the same uh, uh, commands are run here and exactly this uh, Docker file that we wrote here a few uh, seconds ago, uh, this is perfectly working. So we can now uh, go ahead and uh, try to run. First, I'm going to define a port and I can say 2001, let's say, just an example port. And you can name it anything as you like. And then I'm going to say, what was my container name, my app, and let's hit enter. Oh, I think it's up. So I'm going to head to the browser. I'm going to check it up. Localhost uh, 2001. Whoa, that's amazing. That's really great. So that's our uh, uh, React app that's uh, running on basically the Nginx. And you can, oh, and we can also see the logs here. They are coming straight out of Nginx. It's talling, talking, talking to you and telling you. Uh, which engine did you use to make the request to the server? And yeah, this is going to be pretty fast. And in the next video, I'm going to come back with some uh, nice stuff. Like are we going to do set up some reverse proxies to our backend, and we might do some load balancing application, a real type example with Nginx and Docker. So good luck, guys. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned to my channel for the next videos. And please subscribe. Thank you.